the corollary to the previous theorem tells you that uh, suppose you have an utmost countable set A and for each element in A we associate some utmost countable set. Okay? Uh, and we are making the union of these utmost countable sets. Remember your A is utmost countable set. So that tells you your A is either finite or countable. Okay, and for each element of this A, you are associating something, some utmost countable set like this. So, all your BA is also lie under the same category. And you are just making a union of these things, and you have to prove this union is utmost countable. Okay, so <clears throat> let this be an utmost countable set. Uh, while defining this union and intersection, arbitrary union, finite union, and uh, countable union. Uh, we have chosen our A to be a finite set and based on that uh, we have uh, chosen, okay, hope you remember this example, your A was only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and uh, omega was the entire z and uh, we have uh, written down this things, z, 2z and uh, either this thing or 5z uh, plus 1, 5z plus 2, all those things, right? Okay, this was a finite set. So, by saying it finite, we can also say it as utmost countable. Okay, if we exactly know what kind of set this is, we can say about whether it is finite or infinite or countable. Since it is not unknown, it can be generalized in a more general sense that it is utmost countable set. Okay, for every element, we are considering utmost countable set. Even this can be put in one one correspondence with J. Okay. This is count here, they are exactly countable. In a more general sense, we can say this is at most countable. Okay. Now we are just making the union of all, all these sets, and we have to prove that union is at most countable. Okay. Right. If this is the case, we can consider uh, for every alpha in A, we can consider some countable set. Okay, and we have seen that an infinite subset of a countable set. Okay, if you are able to take a subset of this set, it can be either finite or infinite. If it is an infinite subset, it turns to be countable. Okay, if it is finite, okay. Combining these two, if you take a subset of a countable set, that is going to be at most countable, right? Either it will be finite or countable, it cannot be uncountable. So, you can consider this thing to be an utmost countable set. Therefore, you may treat your B alphas to be a subset of E alpha. Okay? Now, what you can do is that you just make union of all these things. It will be so. Right? This is what we have taken as in the previous theorem. And let us take this to be T. Okay, T is going to be a subset of S. And this tells you what S is a countable set. T is being a subset of S. It will be either finite or infinite. Infinite in the sense it will be countable. Therefore, this is true. This concludes that T is at most countable. Okay.